He's still 10,000 subscribers. Is that awesome? Um, we thought for 10,000 subscribers it would be fun to start up 10 of these old cars. Okay, you guys want to try the 59 Chevy first? Start at this end and work our way? Sure, sure. Let's try it out. Number one? This is number one of hopefully 10. That's a, uh, oh, we got a on. Ooh. Ooh. This is number two. Number two of ten. This is the 50 Chev that we got in, I don't know, I got this about five years ago. And uh, we got it running. And then I've slowly gathered up the rest of the parts and put it all together. And I only started it once. So this is only like the second time it's run since it's been put together. When was the last time you started it? Uh, I think I started it a couple of years ago. Oh. Yeah. So it's a pretty cold start, I would say. We cobwebs, say eh? Two, might have been three years ago. Anyway. So are you going to work the throttles? Yeah. Okay. Throttle man and... Okay. That's two. That's awesome. You guys, that thanks. Was that was pretty notch. easy. The other cars are going to have to have an act to follow there. This game's too easy. 1950 Chevy Fleetline. Two for two. Car number three is going to be the uh, 1957 Plymouth Plaza. Got this car a few years ago. <laughs> it's a piece <laughs> of shit. Ricky behind you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all right. It's good. You just... Okay, Dark, take two. Car number three is the 1957. Diesel idiot, eh? <laughs> Jesus, I'm so sick of the idiots driving around those things. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I just gotta, <laughs> just gotta go here. Okay, car number three. Car number three is the 57 Plymouth Plaza that we got from the junkyard a couple of years ago. Uh, it's a flathead six-cylinder car. I haven't started it in a couple of years. It, uh, the engine is, a, is really poor in this car. I don't think it's going to start. I think it's a piece of shit. Well, that's not a very positive attitude. <laughs> we might have to try 11 or 12 cars to get 10 to start. We might have to try 25 cars. You got the battery hooked up? Almost did a couple times there. That's all it'll do. Yeah. This engine is so fucking fucked. We push it around and got it running and let it run for half an hour and shut it off, it would start right up. Right. Barely. Barely. We're gonna have to pull the pin on the 57 Plymouth. 
car number three is going to be the 66 Datsun 411. Let's get that hood off, gentlemen. See if we can get this crusty old pail to go. My friend bought this and we're going to do a much more detailed look at it. But for now, we thought, since the Plymouth is a piece of crap, let's try and start the Datsun. Okay, car number three, uh, 1966 Datsun. Let's try it. This car is pretty smooth. Look, clean. Champ, hey. Uh, next is the 1982 Renault 5. Hasn't been running quite a while. Let's fire it up. This thing usually starts really well. Usually. <laughs> Looks like car number five is going to be yet another Chev. This is a 58 Chevy Del Rey. And so we're going to try and fire it up for the first time in a couple of years. Don't care. If we do this, we should be able to drive it around a bit. Just filling up the float bowl through the vent. Fire it up. Do we have contact? Okay, you're live. We're live. Okay. There you go. Chevs are just a hundred percent, eh? Right. The 58 Chev is really running well. We're gonna put some coolant in it. We're gonna go for a little drive. How's the drinks holding up? Thank you. 